Welcome back. In medical news, the rising rate of preschoolers diagnosed with ADHD has stabilized in recent years. Researchers say this change began in 2011 when the Academy of Pediatrics recommended a standard approach on how to diagnose and treat ADHD in young children. And although the guidelines suggest behavioral therapy as the first line of treatment in preschoolers, the use of stimulants has stayed constant. One in every three children with ADHD is diagnosed between the ages of four and five. Women who have a history of migraines are at a greater risk of suffering from a stroke in the future. Researchers from the University of Florida analyzed over 900 women who were being evaluated for heart disease. They found that those women who had a history of migraines were at an 83% higher risk of having a heart attack or stroke compared to women who did not have a history of migraines. Now, women with migraines were also at least two times more likely to suffer a stroke during the study than women who did not have the headaches. Yo-yo dieting may be a health hazard, even if you're not overweight. A large new study of older, normal weight women found those who lost and then regained weight over, were over three times more likely to suffer sudden cardiac death than those whose weight stayed stable. Weight cycling was also linked to a 66% higher risk of death from heart disease. There were no such risks among yo-yo dieters who were overweight or obese or women who permanently gained or lost weight. Stay with us. Still to come, Robert has one more look at your evening weather planner.